A helicopter is a type of rotorcraft with the ability to hover and to start as well as land somewhere without a runway. Most helicopters are equipped with a main rotor that has rotor blades. A tail rotor counters the torque effect created by the main rotor. The cockpit with control inputs and displays can be found in the front part. As the main rotor is the most complex component, let's talk about it first. Four control rods are connected to the lower part of the swash plate. The upper part of the swash plate is linked to the rotor blades through other control rods. The rotor hub or the mast is connected to the upper swash plate via a driver. That way, the swash plate moves with the rotor hub. The lower part of the swash plate, however, is fixed. The lower part can be adjusted by the pilot through two different control systems. First, the pilot can collectively adjust the angle or pitch of the rotor blades by vertically raising or lowering the swash blade. This way, the pilot changes the pitch of the rotor blades in order to generate more or less lift so that the helicopter moves up or down. However, the rotor blades may also be adjusted cyclically. To do that, all the pilot has to do is tilt the swash plate. Here, thanks to the camera near the rotor blade, we see the movement of the swash plate and the rotor blade. As a result, each rotor blade has the same angle at a specific position. To tilt the swash plate, the pilot uses the stick in his right hand. That way, he can increase the lift on one side and, consequently, fly in the desired direction. With the help of the collective stick in his left hand, the pilot controls the pitch for all rotor blades, so he can move the helicopter up or down. The paddles enable the pilot to turn the helicopter to the left or to the right. Even in case of engine failure, helicopters can land safely. The main rotor turns by the action of air moving up through the rotor. Just above the ground, the angle of the rotor blades is adjusted by the pilot in a way as to generate enough lift to land softly on the ground. This entire process is called auto-rotation. Another important aspect is the fact that rotor blades bend in flight because of aerodynamic forces. When the helicopter moves forward, the rotor blades with a lot of lift will bend upwards, while those with little lift will bend downwards. <laughs> 